Last week we brought you Roy getting to grips with night vision in his bathroom. Well, Mr Crow also has a big problem with rats at the moment, and a problem with the quality of Roy's footage. Roy's was a waste of time. A faulty door on a new straw barn has left Andy's bales exposed to rat attack, and it needs sorting. There's been other bales parked here, this way they started chewing it. They just chew through the net wrap to get to the corn, because there's no feed in, the only feed is in these. And this one here, you can see this, look, they've made, they've chewed all nests into it. This is rape straw. We have got rat poison in here, but why do they want to go for the rat poison when they can chew into these bales and find the odd bit of grain in there? So what's to be done? Yeah. Well, Andy's brought in an old friend to tackle the problem and to have some seriously good sport. Dave, like so many of you out there, likes to use a bit of initiative, or in other words, eBay, to open up new air rifling opportunities, and he's agreed to talk us through it. What are we doing here then, David? Uh, okay, well I've bought this old camcorder. This yeah, Sony we'll attach it to there then. This Sony camcorder off eBay. Yeah. Uh, but you have to make sure you use the night shot mode, okay? There's oh, a lot right, of camcorders yeah. out there, yeah. but you must make sure it's got this night shot mode on it. Right. Uh, I basically got, there's a thread by the front of the lens, yeah. and I bought this adapter, right. okay, which is for like a filter wheel or something like that, right. and Arrow dighted it onto this old lens cap. Yeah. So that then screws, oh, if I line it up, screws onto, <laughs> it does screw on there. Yeah, like that. That screws on there. Yeah. Um, I just hook that round there, pop that on that. Okay, this is a Hawk scope. Um, All right. Now, slightly crude, this this piece of plastic and this very important piece of card cardboard yeah. goes in there to sort the height out. I will make the proper thing one day. Uh, courtesy of the post office, elastic bands, put around that battery. And that camcorder actually, as crude as it is, is now nicely on there. That's not gonna that's not gonna nowhere. fall off. Yeah. Okay. Now it does have its own infrared illuminator, right. okay, on yep. the side here, yep. which you would use if you were filming people, yep. you know, who were standing two or three meters away yeah, from you. That's pretty much as good as oh, they get. Right. Yep. Now, obviously, if we do this in there, you just it, it just gets lost, and you can see it's tucked behind so much stuff here, yeah, it yeah. would never get out there. No. So then, obviously, you introduce this, which is an infrared laser. Yep. Um, it works off this small battery pack here, which are four double A's. Yeah. It has this on-off switch, which I put behind this rubber band here yeah and you just squeeze uh, I'll do it this side actually if I was yeah. left-handed yeah. you know you just squeeze that yeah like that and on not. and off as I say I, I haven't done a lot of this yet but it seems to be as you know, Some good you know seems to be getting the results we need so better than Roy's um, <laughs> you know, yeah probably yeah. I don't want to get involved in anything like that to be honest no, um, so yeah that's pretty much the setup you know a lot of this as you can see it's all of it homemade but in a way that's the glory of it is yeah how cheap this sort of stuff yeah. is now to buy it's not you know, not two three old four scope mounts no yeah. old scope mounts knocking about so how much you reckon this lot's cost you well obviously yeah as we know the rifles are oh, no, no, not just, cheap but just doing a night I'm sure like this was 70 pounds one of the rubber bands i got that off the postman Did at christmas you? good yeah. man good man some packing plastic from my house uh filter wheel i think literally two pounds off ebay yeah Old scope lens, the old scope cap, some arrow dye, so we're still, still not cheapy, up to a cheapy. lot of money. Uh, this, as I say, I think I would have to look, but they're about a hundred quid, I think. Yeah. Uh, there, are, it's an infrared laser. There's yeah. lots on YouTube. There's lots of airgun people, you know, doing this, and you can see them. They've got similar setups, but people just change it slightly for what they want, really. So we're looking at about two hundred pounds for Dave's setup. But after last week's program, we had a few emails about night vision bargains, including one from Stephen Stubbs from the Pigeon Watch forum, who made his setup for fifty-two pounds. If you're watching this on YouTube, click on the link on the screen to look at his videos of how he did that. If anyone else has some cost-saving tips, night vision or otherwise, we'd love to hear about them. Back to rats, and Andy's not just here to look pretty and shout encouragement in the dark. He's the goose to Dave's maverick, guiding towards the intended target. Talk to me, goose. I spot him with this. Um, this is like a binocular. Just look through. I look right the way around the shed, find the rats. And then David, he's got his um, spotter on the top. But when he puts that on, it is bright, and so I can see where it is in the shed. And I just talk him in right, 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 left, 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 and 
and he, he goes onto it. And as soon as he's on it, because um, that's so tight, as soon as he's on it, he can see it on the screen, gets a crosshair on it, smack, dead. Now, although what follows is a fine example of precision pest control, at times it might sound as if pilot and navigator are strapped into different aircraft. Let's start with a bit of rat-on-rat -rat action, and then Dave and Andy can take it away. Two of them there. There was... There you go. I told you it's two there. What the hell's that's eating? That's got a dead rat. It has no. It look, has. Look. That oh, one you've got to share that recording it, you're recording it. Shh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, there is, there is. Oh, go on, my pet. There. Why's it gone off? Because I turned the switch off. Oh, you mean that? Have it, it, have it. Oh, you missed it. That went straight through that crow. Where is it then? Well, it's the other one. Down, 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 down. It's left in left, right, 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 right. I can't right. get behind the thin crow, behind the wall now. Oh. Come to me then. I've got no pellets left. There it is. I see the pellet go. There's loads of these two there, baby. They'll come back out later. Yeah, they go. They come out that circle. That, what on top of the seat? No, down, 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 oh. there. Right in the middle of the camera. I can't. Up, 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 oh, you, you remember where it is? Up, 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 yeah, there. Go on. Okay. Ready? Is it? Yeah. One, two. Have that. Well. Say when, darling. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, come back. No, you can go back in. Yeah. Ready? Oh. Wait. Right fast, then. Right fast. Whoa. Stop. Up. Oh, there he is. There he is. It's a beaver. That last rat wasn't a beaver. But then again, Andy doesn't take a size 5 jack pike boot either. Uh, my feet are a size 11 and a half. Um, I'd say these rats, well, that's, that's a foot. He's, he's 18, good 18 inches long. Head to toe. It's been a successful evening's ratting, and although we thought night vision would spoil the social side of shooting, this method certainly keeps everyone involved and entertained. And remember, if you've got a simple but effective way of saving your fellow shooters a few pounds with night vision or anything else, drop me a line and we'll spread the word. Charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv